given. This is our first simple problem for the day. So, um, what we want to, when I say we want to find 2n, what I mean is that we actually want to like evaluate 2 to the n in, let's say, like decimal representation. Also, what I, what I mean is that I want to like minimize the amount of time it takes to find this. So, um, first, can anyone tell me, like, a very obvious way to find this? Multiplying 2n times. Yeah, so you can, um... So you do 2 times 2 times 2. Right, so this is this this takes n multiplications, and let's say n is something like one billion or two billion or three billion. Um, we're actually we're also going to assume that like we have memory enough to hold the result of this. Um, you can if you don't want to assume, make that assumption equal to just like say that we want to find this two to the n mod some large prime. So you want to find two to the n mod some prime like ten to the nine plus seven. But for ease of like conceptualization, we'll just pretend that we have enough memory to store the result of this. But yeah, if we have, if we want to do this in a slow manner, you can just multiply two n times and get the result. Now, um, it turns out that you can make this much, much faster. Um, so can anyone, does anyone have any more ideas for like some, for some way to like speed this up? Also, if you've seen this before, uh, don't, uh, try not to spoil it if you've seen this before, by the way. Um, I promise it'll get harder in like a couple minutes because we'll do like a chunk. Yeah? Oh, it's like n is even if you multiply 4n by 2 times. That's like faster, I think. Yeah, this is good. So, uh... So, 2 to the n equals 4 to the n by 2. So since we don't want to deal with halves, um, there's like some detail with like the exponent mod 2. So um, what we do to deal with that is this. So 2 to the 2k equals 4 to the k. And then 2 to the 2k plus 1 is 2 times 2 to the 2k, which is uh, 2 times 4 to the k. <laughs> So in either case, we can kind of just, we can divide the exponent by two. So now this is actually the key insight. So with this, um, we can actually find the result. You can, what I was like iterate this trick over and over again. <laughs> um, does anyone want to tell me like what would happen if I kept doing this? The same kind of like having the exponent thing. It basically turns into uh, multiply two to the power n minus one two times. Uh, it's not n minus one actually. That's close, but it's not. Um, it's not two to the n minus one. Uh, instead, like, think of like what you're doing to the exponent each time you like apply this operation. Oh, dividing by half. Yeah, so you're dividing the exponent by two. So, like, roughly, like, what you're doing is like this. So you're doing a to the n equals uh, a to the n by two to the power of two, which is equal to a squared to the power of n by two, right? So the same if you start with two to the n, and then first you do this with two, so you replace the two with the four. Then again, you do this with four, and you replace the four with the 16. And you can keep doing this. So as you like iterate along, um, can you tell me like what would happen to the exponent at each stage of the process?
we'll keep having the exponent right so how many steps will it take for the exponent to reach 1 in this case <laughs> log n right so now we actually have a fast algorithm so let me first like illustrate an example of this and i'll show how it generalizes <laughs> so uh let's say like 2 to the 7 this is 2 to the 3 times 2 plus 1 so it's 2 times 3 uh sorry And then now you can evaluate this to just be one twenty eight. So, um, the other way to see like what happens in this process is like, at some stage we'll get to like um just three numbers multiplied by each other, and there's no more recursion going on. So at this stage we can say that if like n equals or we can also just observe that if seven equals uh one plus two plus two squared. And what we're finding is two to the one, times two to the two, times two to the two to the two. And you can find this just by iteratively squaring. So in general, um, so to the n goes to, uh. So in general, what we do is that at each stage we have the exponent square it and then multiply by the re by the remainder. So uh, time um, log n steps for exponent to each one. Not floor, just log. So we'd say that the algorithm is O of log n. <laughs> 